Brides in Central Florida are scrambling after this popular dress store filed for bankruptcy. Well, that can't be. I mean, I paid. I was there on Sunday. Now they're searching for answers after stores suddenly close their doors, leaving dresses in limbo. Hashtag nightmare. Mm -hmm. Bridal company Alfred Angelo has shut down stores nationwide, leaving brides scrambling to find a new wedding gown. Some brides told us they already paid for those dresses and don't know if they'll be able to get it. Channel 9's Julie Salomone went to the Altamont Springs location today where brides were showing up, hoping to get something. Well, some brides showed up and they were able to get their dresses if they already paid for them and they were physically here at the store. Other brides showed up and found this sign saying it was closed and suggesting they contact the company's attorney. Lauren Rothwell thought this would be the dress she would walk down the aisle in on May 18th, 2018. She put a down payment on the dress at Alfred Angelo Bridal in Altamont Springs, but she may never receive it. Ah, uh, it's so close. Those blue ones in the second row back. Dozens of brides found a note on the door at Alfred Angelo in Altamont Springs stating the business is closed. Kimberly Moy is waiting on dresses for her bridesmaids. They were open on Monday taking money. They were open yesterday at 11.30. Had they, I didn't get a phone call. If they had even just called or emailed, come by and get your dresses before it's too late, it would have made a huge difference. Moy shared a letter with me from the company's attorney stating the company was forced to file bankruptcy. Alfred Angelo Bridal has 60 stores across America. It has been in business for more than 80 years. Brides are shocked over its sudden closure. We asked a bankruptcy attorney about the situation today. He said brides could file a claim and down the road when this goes to court, they could get money back, but it likely won't be much and they shouldn't count on seeing their dresses. I'm blessed that I have a family that's just like, let's just go out, get you another one, move on, keep going. So, and I know a lot of people don't have that opportunity. And I emailed the address on this sign outside the store, but have not received a response. I also called the company's attorney, but also have not received a response. Reporting in Altamont Springs, Julie Salmon, Channel 9 Eyewitness News.